How are we doing, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of FSI's NHL DFS Pick Show. I am your host, TK Nation 47 bringing you guys a hockey slate for the Oct- for October 18th, uh, 2022. Um Sitting here on lunch, researching, ready to roll. We got six hours to lock. So let's go over some quick picks and a little bit of the slate breakdown. We've had a lot of large slates going on this year. uh, So it is kind of nice to get a little bit of a break here. Well, I guess it's not a break, but it'll feel like a break when we're breaking down games, right? A lot of good spots here. A lot of spots to focus on and a lot of spots to kind of avoid. Um, so it'll feel like a smaller slate when you shrink that player pool down. Uh, let's go over the totals and uh, some of the favorites real quick. We got um, uh, the largest favorite on the slate is Tampa Bay versus Philadelphia. That total is six. Tampa Bay a minus 305 fave. Uh, probably going to do some damage on Philly tonight. You know, I do like, you know, Stamkos, Kucherov. You can use those guys uh absolutely um next up we have new jersey or no edmonton excuse me edmonton buffalo that is probably the marquee fantasy um matchup on the slate uh we got mckinley sabers um coming in as a uh, plus 250 underdog i think edmonton's a minus 240 favorite seven total um, I like both sides. I, I want McDavid. I want Dreisaitl. You know, I want um, Tage Thompson, Tuke. You know, I, I want all these guys in this game. Lufsen, who had uh, two empty netters in the first matchup or in the first game of the season. I think he might get off uh, another goal tonight, too. But, yeah, I, I like that game. There's a lot of fantasy goodness in that game. It's going to be up. It's going to be up tempo. Uh, it's going to be a home a home matchup for Edmonton. So they're going to have line rushes. It's going to, it's going to be, it's going to be an open battle. And I think it's going to be good for us. Uh good late game hammer right there. Um, next up we have, I'll go with new, the Islanders, a two Oh five favorite over San Jose. I really like the Islanders in that matchup. It's only a five point five and a half total. Uh, I, I think I just, you know, I don't know. I, I just want, the Islander side of that San Jose has really struggled this year. New Jersey is a minus two Oh five favorite versus the ducks who just lost last night. Uh, six and a half point total as well. There there's, um, t- there's a, there's a shocking favorite in my opinion, and that's Ottawa a minus minus one twenty favorite versus Boston. I know Boston just played last night, but they beat the Florida Panthers. They look pretty good. Uh, I know they got to travel up to Ottawa, but, Man, I, I, I have a hard time understanding that favorite right there. In Calgary, Vegas, six and a half point total, minus 160 for Calgary. Uh, at home, I, I favor the Flames in that one as well. Uh, and last but not least, my Blue Jackets, minus 105 favorite in a six total. I love the Blue Jackets in this matchup versus Vancouver. A battle of the defeated, I think, Columbus kind of pulls away here and gets their first win at home versus Vancouver who are on a back-to-back and just got slaughtered by Washington. All right. Uh, let's talk centers here. Uh, yes. McDavid dry saddle. Yes. Stam coast. Yes. You play those guys. Cause those guys are just high point totals. You can play them on any slate Bergeron versus Ottawa. I'm not going to disagree with, but Boston's really deep and, They've like used a lot of their depth. A lot of these guys are getting time on the ice. So I don't really I think you could get away with avoiding Bergeron on this slate on the back to back. I obviously you could play Eichel, but that's a tough matchup versus Calgary. It's gonna be a pretty tough environment. I can understand not going with either one of these two. Uh Jack Hughes has looked really good. He's gonna get Anaheim. I think he's sets up for really good play as well. Nazem Kadri, yeah, he's kind of going to be there for defense and two-way center, uh, you know, um, two-way center responsibilities. Um, yeah, from there, we're going to drop down to my favorite center on the slate, and that's Boone Jenner. Boone Jenner uh, leading the way versus the Vancouver Canucks with Johnny Gaudreau and Zach Wierenski, and there's newfound chemistry with uh, Nyquist on the line. They scored last time out. 
um, them three. So 5K, I think that's a really solid cash play. Uh, Boone Jenner is going to get you a little bit of salary savings. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't scoff at either Brock Nelson or a Barzal either. I think both of those guys are really strong options versus San Jose. Uh, Barzal, um, what we saw um, versus the Ducks uh, yesterday, um, we had um, – let me get back to it here – the Rangers, uh, man, they just destroyed Anaheim up the center. Uh, Trocheck, <laughs> Trocheck, uh, goal and an assist. Zibinajad, two goals, two assists. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's 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 looking like. Uh, I'm sorry, um, I have the wrong I have the wrong information here. I'm looking at the wrong guy, Barzal and. Nelson had two goals and three shots on goal versus the Ducks in their last matchup when they won seven to one uh, versus San Jose. Um, I think uh, both of those two sets up well. Bars all skating with Parisi and Palmieri. Nelson with Leon Bovillier. I don't know what I had here. I had must have been rushing through it. Uh, wingers, I like Felipe Forsberg at seven two. Um, let me get over here and get up to the winger position. Now, I, obviously you could play Pasternak. Uh, he's always got a high floor and so does Kucherov, especially in this matchup. It's a very boom matchup for Kucherov, but I think Forsberg goes low owned and LA has been in some, have been in some shootouts uh, lately. Um, one seven, six versus Minnesota on Saturday, yesterday uh, winning an overtime five to four to Detroit. Um, so I really like Forsberg um, in this matchup. He's got a goal and assist on the year. I think this could be one of the bigger, bigger games from Forsberg on the slate. Uh, next, um, you know, we saw yesterday Perron had two goals and an assist, six shots on goal. Um, Detroit overall had 31 shots on goal. So it's a really good matchup for Nashville. Uh, Duchesne Granlin on that line as well. Uh, to get down here in the middle and in, in the nitty gritty here, I like Jasper Brat. Uh, you're gonna have to find some New Jersey on your slate, especially with what's going on with Anaheim right now. Uh, Gibson has looked pretty bad. Defense has looked terrible without Lindholm. I've noticed that Hoppus being out uh, has really put a hole in the defense of Anaheim, and they are struggling. Stolarts uh, played last night. He's probably going to get the start tonight versus New Jersey. Uh, brought three assists on the season, five shots on goal through two games. He's skating with Thomas Tatar and Nico Hersher. I like him. Uh, also skates on that top power play. Uh, so, you know, like I said yesterday, Perrin had – uh, Panarin had one goal, three assists, four shots on goal. Lafrain, Lafiniere, one goal. Kako, a goal. So lots of wingers scoring against Anaheim right now. And I'm going to add Brat to the list. Uh, some values, like I mentioned, Nyquist, Beauvillier, Anders Lee, Tanner Janat from Nashville. I like him. Uh, let's flip it over to Defender. Uh, I don't mind uh, paying up, but personally, I'm going to avoid paying up on defense tonight. I'm going to avoid the, Yo you know, I would play Yossi in a few spots. I'm going to avoid Headman. I'm going to avoid Chabot, Hamilton, some of these guys. I'm going to really live with Noah Dobson. Uh, guy's a goal scoring machine already has a goal this year uh, from the defender slot. He, I think he led the league last year in goals from the defender slot. Uh, when risky, he's going to get time, a lot of time on the ice. He's going to be on that first power play unit. So he's always going to be a, a threat for assists and goals from for Columbus at 5-2. I think that's a pretty good spot. Um, moving down the list here, um, I'm going to go with my boy Sergachev. Uh, seven blocks in that first matchup, and then he had two assists. And uh, he did okay versus Pitt, but he's really being he's really involved with Tampa right now, uh, skating on that with that second unit on that second power play behind Hedman. I think you get a really good discount for the similar upside uh, with Sergachev. He's been he's been my boy lately uh, at the defender spot. I don't mind LA's um, defenders because they're heavily involved. Adam Pilich is always a, is a threat for block shots. Um, 
Mark Stone for Calgary. Oop, excuse me. Mark Stone for Calgary had himself a day last last time out. Another home matchup. I like him. Uh, look at this. He had a goal, two assists, three shots on goal, four block shots. He was everywhere. I think he skate. You know, he skates. I think with that third unit too. Um, but he's on, on the second power play, I believe. Uh, Mark Stone. Um, keep him in mind. Mayfield scored two last time out. Uh, guys, I have some upside from the defender spot uh, right there. Mike Riley, if uh, Carlo is out, um, yeah, he's Carlo's on the IR. So Mike Riley it was a guy I played last night uh, in that matchup. He got me nine points. It was really solid at block shots right there. So I like him as well. Uh, and goalie. To wrap it up, I like Verlamov and Merz Lincolns. Verlamov in that five and a half total versus San Jose. San Jose 0 and 3 on the season. Uh, 0 and 4, excuse me. And, uh, you know, Islanders play tough at home. No doubt about it. Merz Lincolns, I already mentioned how I like Columbus tonight. I think he faces a lot of shots. Columbus need a win badly. So, you know, you're going to get some of the best from him. And I'm not afraid of Markstrom in this matchup. I think Calgary win the game. And I, I needed to I needed to reset my goalie standards um, after that Igor Shesterkin game last night. My goodness, that, that was brutal. Um, McKinley is just preaching to me, you know, just wherever you fall at goalie, just build your lineup and then whatever goalies left is what's goal is what, is what you have is left is what you play. Uh, so I'm hoping I land right here in this, in this high sevens, low 8K range. Uh, Soros right there too. I know LA is going to be putting up a lot of shots. Um, I know they've been scoring, but um, you know, you, you know when you're going to face a lot of shots, you're going to get a lot of uh, saves, right? So that'll wrap things up. Thank you for listening in. You can follow me on Twitter at TKNation47 or on our website, FSIDFS.com or on our Twitter handle, FSI underscore DFS. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy tonight's slate. Once I can stop.